Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with another energy forecast and um, this is a twofold energy forecast so I'm going to talk about love first and then I'm going to talk about how other aspects of our lives are being impacted. So we're in the month of March 2019 and the energies that are drawing towards us um, in this Mercury retrograde, in this um, um, pi after the Piscean new moon that we've had last week, is asking us to become more real than we already have been. It's asking us to walk a path of our potential that we haven't yet been able to walk on. It's not a path that we've walked on before and then we've fallen from higher ground and that we need to pick ourselves up again. It's asking us to step up to a whole new level of our lives. So if there's been something that has plagued you through your life, perhaps you've been plagued through a particular type of debt or perhaps you've had uh, a certain type of poor health or perhaps you have some self-sabotaging self habits, this energy here is asking you now to kick that and it's it's bringing it into clarity for you. It's becoming very, very clear what is and what is not good for you. And so now is the time to actually go ahead and adjust your life accordingly. Now, um, in terms of love, how is this playing out? Well, for many of you, you'd find out that you are in shaky ground at the moment or you might be having breakups. Or you might know somebody who's uh, or know more than one person in your environment who's breaking up and it's it's this energy that's calling you to discard what no longer suits you what is no longer necessary in, a, in your life and this is not to say that you have to stop loving that person that love is always going to be there that love cannot die real love doesn't die it just transforms uh, or just has another way of expressing itself but um, what this energy is asking you to do is take a hold of your life and really run with it. And even with that, you might have a lot of uncertainty. So these breakups are largely a result of those who you do not need in your life anymore. A particular person has served their role in your life and in terms of your soul journey. And it's time to let go and to say thank you and let them go on their own way so that they can explore and grow in their own lives and you can as well. And so these type, the breakups that are taking place right now are fortuitous. They are meant to be and it's okay to let go. It's okay to let go right now because there's something better waiting for you and because you will be more true to your own path if you actually let go of those relationships at this moment. Um, so, of course, with heartbreak and breakups, um, there will be a lot of difficulty and a lot of heartbreak, obviously, and uh, uh, a lot of grieving, uh, a lot of difficulty. And this is um, these are this is obviously something that you need to work with right now. And this will take a bit of time. But what this energy is asking you to do is not get bogged down with that and not let that draw you away from your path and your purpose, but actually to empower yourself uh, even through this grief and even through this difficult moments and to move ahead in terms of your own life and your own path. Excuse the background sounds, uh, by the way. Um, there's more there that I want to say about love, but I just want to move on to how this applies to you as well. So for some of you, you will experience this in terms of your health. OK, so you may have flare ups and um, of certain inflammation that already exists in your body, or you may have uh, some things that come to the head where you no longer can ignore certain long term um, difficulties or um, uh, deficiencies or uh, just things that you've been keeping on the back burner for a long time that you haven't actually been able to pay attention to. That's all going to come to the fore right now. And you need to be able to, to take a decision with regard to that. You need to be able to heal that. You need to be able to actively work uh, work with it, work against it, if it's some kind of disease or something that you need to get rid of. And what I mentioned just now is that there's going to be these kind of flare-ups, this kind of... Um, um, high stress um, reactions uh, within your body. See, those of you who have difficulties with your bowels or with your um, your intestines, uh, you're going to you're going to be able to 
uh, find that, that you might have more difficulties with that. And if you have headaches, so you, you're prone to migraines or something, you might find that in the month of March, you'll have more of that. And why is that? Well, it's actually asking you to measure your stress responses and to be able to take care of yourself. It's asking you, this energy is asking you to curate your health, to look carefully at what is actually going on in your body and how certain things that you eat impact you and how certain relationships impact you and how certain thoughts, emotions, or feelings impact you and how um, living a certain way impacts you. So it's asking you to look at that, look very closely at that and take some decisions that maybe are new to you or maybe that you have been considering for some time basically take some decisions towards um, bettering your health and uh, perhaps begin a new exercise regime or uh, if you have not done an, had an exercise regime perhaps introduce yourself to one very slowly add an extra activity to your life that enables the betterment of yourself if your well-being you know perhaps you uh, start uh, adding a, uh, a you, perhaps you add a supplement to your life or you uh, begin having a different kind of morning routine or perhaps you uh, choose a different diet or a different type of lifestyle in terms of whether you're a morning person or a night person, whether you do your exercises in the morning or the night or perhaps you just simply introduce exercise into your life. And I think that uh, these are the type of things that your the energy is calling for you to do right now and it's a good month in order to kind of implement these new practices and to be able to form habits which will have a lasting um, a kind of uh, impact. Well, a lasting impact not in terms of your well-being or your health but rather in terms of what habits you can create and how you go about those habits in your life and how that ultimately impacts you for the good. So I feel that the energy, this particularly with regard to habit forming and changing of routines is applicable between now which is like um, somehow heading to the middle of March of 2019 till about June 2019 and if you're able in this time to be able to form habits uh, that uh, and keep to them um, th that will be beneficial to you in the long run then you will be able to stick to that even longer and it will uh, impact you in, in a positive way in the in the long run but only if you're able to actually well of course it'll impact you positively in the, in the short term as well but if you want long-term beneficial uh, results then you will need to go on beyond June okay uh, with regard to this so um, what else well in my last energy forecast I talked about boundaries and being able to uh, stand up to those around you and I feel that uh, for those of you who practice that and you've had that in your lives, you would have felt much freer as a result and freer in the sense that um, you have more time and more energy to focus on yourself and your own well-being. And remember, if you focus on yourself and your own well-being and you get yourself to a certain level, then you can actually share that with those around you. It will naturally impact others in a more positive way as well. It has a ripple effect, so to say. And so for those of you who haven't been able to work with that, or you're still struggling with that, or it hasn't been an issue for you, then boundaries are still something that you need to be working with and something that uh, will, if you if you have clear boundaries, firm boundaries, th this will actually kind of kickstart the energy in which you start caring for yourself as well. Uh, so how else does it impact love? I know I'm jumping about a bit here, but I just wanted to mention that in terms of love, there may be uh, people uh, who in your lives who you believe as your twin flame relationship, or you might have uh, some kind of intimate soul connection with this person or you think you're meant to be because all the signs point to it but um i want to say that this is a kind of make or break point so the energy right now is very tangible in the sense that you can actually draw somebody into your life on a more permanent level and you can actually with prayer and with uh with love with feelings of love and pouring healing energy onto the relationship onto the person you can actually bring 
a person into your life. You can draw somebody into your life if that person's been evasive or they've not been, they've been non-committal or they've not just been ready to. But with this love that you pour into it, they they could actually feel your your commitment to this and they may be able to come forward. In other instances, uh, you might find that this thing that you thought was a twin flame relationship or a soul connection has actually run its course and it's no longer relevant. Ah, oh, the lights just changed. The sun's just come out. So um, just for a moment, I think. So I've got very dark gray clouds here and uh, yeah, it's been quite a gray day, but the sun's just peeped through for a moment and it's made me happy. <laughs> so um, yeah, what I was saying is, so basically you, you there is this potential and it's gone again. Uh, there is this potential that you can actually bring somebody into your life, somebody who's been elusive, somebody where you know that there's this uh, twin flame connection. Or in other instances where you have been with this person, uh, or where this thing hasn't really come to fruition, this thing is, this connection is now, it's not gonna fall away because that connection's always going to be there, but it's just not gonna be a priority anymore in your life. You're just gonna move on to a whole new level and actually really focus on yourself. And I did an Oracle card reading this week where one of the cards was passion for purpose. And it was, it so resonated with the energy that I'm speaking about right now. And it's so much, it has so much to do with what so many of you are going to be experiencing at this moment, which is to focus on yourself and not on the love. And the love will kind of form, um, it'll come into your life at a later point, or it will, it will, it will slot itself in. But right now, so basically be able to focus on you and what is it that you need to do? Where is it that you need to go to? For some of you, um, in terms of love, this is a, um, a tipping point, a, um, or it's a pinnacle that you've reached. And the whole game changes here right now. It's like somebody just, you know, uh, moves the, the chessboard and all the pieces fall apart. And it's like this, it's almost like a new beginning, but it's not really a new beginning. It's just basically a change of direction. And I want to say that this applies also to an aspect of your life where you need to make decisions and where you need to be able to make some huge choices. Like for some of you who are standing on the precipice of something new on when you, where you are knowing that you need to make some decisions, some life decisions, but you're not really sure of how to go about doing that or in which direction you need to go to, this moment is going to be really important uh, in terms of you actually choosing your path. And I want to say that that, specifically that, lasts for about six weeks or so. Within the next six weeks, you will most likely know where you're heading to and how you're going to be, how it's going to unfold, or what you need to be doing into your life. So if you don't have clarity of the moment and you, you're you uncertain and you, you're feeling a bit uh, um, worried about about the fact that you're not sure of where you're going to go to, well, this is all going to change because you're going to see between now and I say perhaps the end of, April, the beginning of May, you're going to have made some decisions in your life. You're going to have chosen a path. And it might be, for some of you, a path that you would not necessarily have thought that you would have chosen, that you may have flirted with in your life um, as a young person, as a teenager, in your young adulthood. You might have flirted with this idea, but you haven't, and it wasn't a suit that really fitted you, you know, but you might actually decide, okay, I'm going to get the suit altered now, and I'm actually going to fit this on, and I'm going to take this path. So it might be a change in your career. It might be a change in where you choose to live. It might be a completely different path in which you actually decide that you're going to commit yourself to a certain course of study, perhaps, for the next three or two or four years. And this has not been something that you would have thought about ultimately, but now you've chosen to go on, on this path. And so how this impacts those of you who are not um, actually on the precipice of change, who you're not really having in a moment of transition in your lives. Well, how it impacts you is that you're going to be going deeper into what you're doing and you're going to be clearing away the mess. It's like you, you are, it's like you, there's a treasure there and then you need to like, excavate it or you need to move away the mud from it or the, the soil, the earth from it. And then you, you kind of discover something in yourself. And what is it? It's that you're discovering yourself and you and you're discovering, well, not a new, but you're discovering yourself in a deeper way. And you also um, are able to live in a more, um, well, work towards authenticity. Authenticity is almost, for me, it's the word of the month for this 
uh, for March. It's like authenticity. Where are we not being authentic? Where can we be our better selves? And this energy here is, is shining a spotlight on that. And it's saying, well, you have to choose that path. You can't actually move in another direction because the universe is not giving you the space to move in any other direction. It's basically saying to you to actually hone in on what is for you the authentic path and then follow that path. And I feel like this energy forecast has been a little bit all over the place, but the energy has been, it's, it's the same energy. It's just basically impacting us in different ways right now. And how we choose to work with it uh, is going to ultimately be the break of us or the make of us. For those of us that are ignoring this energy or we are choosing not to work with it, or it's going to result in inflammation in various parts of your body. And you're going to be dealing with this on a health issue. And it's not a, it's, um, I'm saying this in a quite definitive manner, but it's not a, to say that that will exactly happen. Um, it will ha it will be the case, however, for some of you. And um, for those of you who are prone to inflammation or prone to like autoimmune uh, uh, dysfunction, then those of, you, those of you will feel that this inflammation heightens in your life if you're choosing not to walk that path of authenticity or you choosing not to be true to yourself on some level. And right now, you are supported by the universe because there's this make or break situations with your relationships or with yourself or with uh, with how with your health. But the universe is saying, well, I'm going to be holding the space for you right now. And it's not been that way, by the way. It's not been that way. This is the first time this year that the, that this energy is, that there is this energy of being held, you know. Um, and if you're coming also from a state of grief uh, in the last few weeks, you are going to find that right now you're being held in a way you being you actually being um taken into the arms of the universe you know like a newborn baby and you're going to be supported through this so go ahead and remove what is not necessary in your life take away those relationships that no longer serve you or your higher path or your your soul purpose and actually be true to yourself and walk that path that you know is meant for you to walk even if you don't know it consciously you know it, you feel it inside of you, and you know where you need to be going to. And sometimes you just need the clouds to path to part, sorry, in order to be able to see the path that is there for you, for you to for you to be art, able to articulate the path that's there for you. So uh, in summary, break off what is not necessary in your life, be authentic to yourself, and work on a new routine in terms of your health if it need, if you need to, uh, because this is a good time to be able to implement that. And for those of you who are still working with boundaries, well, work at it because it's going to unlock a certain love that you have for yourself in, in within that. And um, yeah, if you have any questions regarding this or you want to know more about this, just write to me in the comment section and I will get back to you. Uh, if not immediately, then, you know, within the next few days. Um, yeah, I will come back to you with a new energy forecast when I feel that it's necessary. I don't do this on a regular basis. I just do it when I feel that I need to. I also want to say that I don't do it when the energy is drawing backward. I only do it, do it when the energy is drawing forward. And I just can't bring myself to speak about it when the energy is drawing inward. So sometimes uh, when we are within ourselves or we're going... Uh, deeper within ourselves I'm not able to come out and speak about this so forgive me for not being able to be there for you in this way during those times I just am able to do it when the energy is lunging forth and um, progressing and and throwing oneself forward and then I'm able to give you this as well and so uh, yeah I want to wish you a fantastic week ahead as well as a fantastic few weeks ahead and good luck with all that you're going through. I know that for some of you who are going through breakups at the moment, these are difficult times. So just hang in there. This is uh, this too shall pass. And um, it's all for uh, a higher good, you know. So just hang in there and, and work towards that which is the best part of yourself. And I feel that if you do that, you can't really go wrong. So I'm wishing you much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Stay well.